everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to make a cutscene system for your Roblox game. So to start out you want to put a folder inside of Workspace and then put your cameras pointing at whatever your subject is. You can have as many cameras as you want. Okay. Next thing you'll want to put a local script inside a starter GUI and this is what you'll use to run the, the um, cutscene. We need to get the tween service, so we can do local tween service equals game colon get service tween service. Okay, then we can do local camera equals game dot workspace dot camera. Then local cutscene time. This is how many seconds you want the fade in between each camera to last. So I'm just going to do five seconds for now. Then we're going to create our function, we're going to call it begin um, cutscene with parenthesis at the end and then we're going to create our tween info. So to do that we need to write local tween info equals tween info dot new um, new oh, whoops, tween info dot new like that and then we can say and um, we'll put our cutscene time in first so we'll drop a line cutscene time and then that is as I said how many seconds you want it to last then we will have the easing style so enum dot easing style dot linear then enum dot easing direction dot out um, then it is repeat count which will set to zero then reverses so whether it will reverse once it's completed so we're going to set that to false and then delay time which will set it to zero okay so just to make that look a little bit cleaner i'll put it up all on one line you just spread it out like that if you want to add comments or something so it's a bit easy to read okay so the next thing to do is to set the camera type to scriptable so we can actually edit it. Okay, then we need to create our tween. Tween one equals tween service colon create camera comma tween info comma and then we're going to do these little curly braces or curly brackets, whatever you want to call them. So C frame equals game dot workspace dot cutscene cams dot cam one dot C frame. Okay. So what we're doing here is we are going to fade from whatever the current camera is currently at to this. So if you want to start out at the player's camera, whatever it is currently at, then just leave it as it is and then it'll fade out to here. Or you can say camera dot c frame equals game dot workspace dot cam cut scene cams dot cam two for example that's just another way to do it okay so i am going to copy that though because we are going to need that down here so I'll, tell, I'll just paste it then we are going to need tween one call on play then we're going to wait the cut scene time and then we're setting it to cam one okay so now we've got to do the exact same thing so if i drop down here but we're going to do tween two this time and then change it to that and then change this to cam two and this to cam two and the same thing again but as cam three so cam three cam three cam3 cam3 okay so i'm going to put little comments in here cam camera3 camera2 just so it's a bit easier to read camera1 okay so just to explain a bit more how it works is we are creating the tween here then the player it will scroll from whatever the camera is currently at to the c frame that you define in here then it's going to wait for the cutscene to finish 
then it is going to set the C-frame as to what it is, okay? And at the very bottom here, we can put reset. Um, no, no, actually, that's not needed. We'll just do camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom, okay? And then we can just wait. Um, let's wait five seconds and then we'll call it. So now if we play the game, we'll have no errors. So it will wait for five seconds and then our cutscene will begin. So you'll see it go from here up to there. You'll see there we go, start scrolling. So it's going to go up to this camera. Then it's go, going to go to the next camera. Then it's going to go to that camera. There we go. As always, the source code is in my um, Discord server. There's a link in the description. Hope you've all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.